Hey guys, I'm pretty excited to talk about this new product that we just started uh, manufacturing and selling. We're calling it the TBS Internal Patty Tray. And um, a really smart beekeeper in North Carolina came up with this idea. It wasn't mine. I was at a conference in North Carolina and he showed this to me that he built and it was such a good idea. Um, it's a, it, you can see it's just a wooden rim. Um, I'll get it a little bit up close. So it's a wooden rim and it, uh, it has a screen built inside, inside of it. And what you can do is you can set pollen patties or sugar bricks on this screen and it leaves enough space underneath it so that the bees can access the entire underside of that pollen patty or that sugar brick. The cool thing that does is it means that small hive beetles can no longer lay eggs and raise larvae underneath your, your, uh, your pollen patties or underneath your sugar bricks. Because right now, when you open up a hive to feed it, normally what we'd do is we would set a pollen patty directly on the top bars to feed it. But what happens is small hive beetles lay eggs and they start raising larvae between that pollen patty and the top bar and the bees can't get in there and clean them out. And so you begin to have a pollen patty uh, small hive beetle infestation. With this, you just put it right up on top and then you can put your patty on that screen and now the bees can get to all sides of that pollen patty, which means that small hive beetle larvae are no longer a problem with pollen patties. It also, when you put your lid back on, creates a pretty awesome dead air space in the summertime, so it helps keep the hive a little bit cooler. Now these work um, really well with sugar bricks as well, so stand soft sugar bricks. Um, you can put a sugar brick on here as well. We've, we've built it so it's the perfect dimensions to fit a sugar brick. And if you really wanna get creative, you can actually put a sugar brick and a pollen patty on there at the same time, and you won't have a beetle problem. You'll keep it elevated. The bees can get underneath those uh, bricks or pollen patties, um, and you create a little bit of a dead air space for uh, keeping the hive just a little bit cooler. So um, we're just launching these. Uh, they're ideal to use in the summer and the fall. Uh, during the winter months, it's not really as necessary because we don't have small hive beetles in the winter. But in the summer and fall, uh, or really in the spring, if you're feeding pollen patties in the spring, this is a great gadget to help prevent small hive beetles in your hive and allow the bees to get to all sides of that feed.